Hello Sagittarius and welcome to the first weekly love reading for Sagittarius couples for 2019. I have already pre-shuffled your cards and I am ready to go. Um, before I get started, I did want to do a quick channel update. Um, I am available for private readings again, so if you're interested, you can book in with me in the description bar below. Um, particularly wanted to mention this because I'm only offering the 2019 annual forecast for another two weeks. So if you're interested in that, um, please get in quickly because after that, um, I won't offer them again until the end of December going into um, 2020. Secondly, massive shout out to Justin from Ipswich. Hi, Justin. Um, I asked in a Christmas update, channel update uh, video that I did just before Christmas for anyone who was interested in participating to send through um, a high res photo of your hometown. I thought it'd be kind of cool to share where you're all from so we can kind of see different places from around the world. So thanks Justin for sending in this thumbnail that's in this video. And lastly, from an astrology point of view, it's an intense period. We have the full moon uh, lunar eclipse in the sign of Leo on the 21st. So during this time period, eclipses are all about closure um, and finality. So when you close something at a full moon uh, eclipse like this, it really is closing it out for good. Um, you close it, you close the door and it's done. So I do see some of that energy around you, which is quite interesting, but we'll get into that in a second. Um, all right, I think that's it for the updates. Let's get started with your reading. At the bottom of the deck, as you come to this period, you have the Five of Cups. This is a card of depression, okay? So it can speak of melancholy, feeling a little bit like left out in the cold. Um, for some of you, maybe you've had an argument with your partner, or maybe you're a little bit depressed or your partner's a little bit depressed. I do have a page of pentacles here. So your partner could have a child, um, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could have a child, you could have a child together. But I, I see this card of depression of, um, how do I explain this? Of feeling a little bit of lack or loss or, or not having enough intimacy or connection. Whether that's you or your partner, I'm not sure. What's interesting though is that although you have the five, you also have the ten of cups here, which is emotional fulfillment. So it's like one of you, I feel like one of you feels a little bit empty and a little bit depressed and the other feels like really happy and really grounded. Um, in terms of signs, I have Libra here. I have Air, uh, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I have Aries twice. Um, and I also have uh, Water. So um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sorry, the messages are just coming in and pretty quickly. Um, so what's interesting is you have the Queen of Wands coupled with a card of Justice. Queen of Signs, Fire Sign. Uh, represents a fire sign right and justice is uh, represents the sign of libra but i feel like a fire signs involved in this connection or this relationship somehow now this could just be representing you maybe you have fire rising in your chart um, maybe this is you yourself coming up in the sign and you're trying to find balance when it comes to this intimate relationship now the five of cups here as i said is like the half of this fives are all about change so i don't know whether you're feeling that way or your partner but i feel like the queen of wands coming out with a card of justice if this isn't representing you which i do think it is it's like you're calling for justice or you're calling for balance in the relationship maybe you're giving too much and you, much and you can't find the balance maybe you're being too nurturing and you don't feel like you're being fulfilled and getting that back from your partner um it's interesting because as you get through the weekend and closer to this eclipse um, in Leo, you have the four of wands coupled with the card of the emperor. So maybe you're dating a boss. Maybe your partner is the boss. Maybe you work together. I'm not really sure. But the four of wands represents um, your home, your foundation. And this typically for me can represent someone who's a leader, who's a boss, who's very um, charismatic in whatever they do. But it can also represent... Um, a father figure so maybe they're a father and it's affecting the home as I said there is an earth sign child here so maybe um, you know it's something to do with their child or their child's place in the world now at the basis of that you have the princess of swords so there's another child here um, air sign so um, Gemini Libra Aquarius well this could just represent um, checking up on someone spying up on someone this is looking up on someone's social media or um, 
kind of really trying to get um, to the, the clarity of things. And if it is affecting your home um, and your base and your sense of security, Sagittarius, then I feel like you're going to bring this up pretty quickly. As I said, Leos all represent, um, uh, sorry, the Leo eclipse represents closing out something. So the Leo Aquarius eclipses that have come up, if you want to know what that means for your sign, go watch the 2019 um video that I did for Sagittarius and it will tell you how Leo plays out in your sign but I feel like for you it's um it's all to do with karma okay and it could very well to be to do with relationships and your foundation the heart of your reading you have the seven of cups so this can represent two things for me having a lot of options when you're dating or being in like this really dreamy illusionary state kind of like not sure where to go or what to do you have a lot of water energy five of cups ten of cups seven of cups king of cups so you definitely could be dealing with a water sign maybe that's your partner this could also represent the love in the relationship as well and the five and the ten really speaks about this yin and yang push and pull like one minute's fantastic next minute it feels really imbalanced the king of cups is coupled with the ten of wands so if this is your partner that I can feel like they're quite weary, they're quite tired, they kind of feel like they've been giving, giving, giving a lot. And if this is you, then I feel like you've been the one that's been giving, giving, giving a lot to your partner. And now you're kind of like either maybe you've got some options coming up from your past or maybe um, it's their past that's coming up and it's causing challenges within your relationship. Eclipses bring up our past, right? They bring up past lovers. They come back into the fore. They try and um, try one more time to see if there's, if there's something still there, especially uh, when they're full moon lunar eclipses like this because um, it's really about closing the door. So generally people will try and reconnect with their exes and their past lovers to really see if there's anything left. And I do see that that's a possibility here for some of you. I mean, there's a lot of heavy energy here, okay? You've got the Emperor, you've got the Justice card. It speaks about legal contracts. It speaks about a leader or a father. Um, and I feel like it's affecting your base and your home of where you are. But you also have some really beautiful energy too. I mean, this water sign's um, really loving. They're quite compassionate and caring and giving. Um, and it could be very focused on family and trying to find that balance as well. Um, can I have some additional guidance? Please, for Sagittarius couples from the 16th to the 22nd. Additional guidance for Sagittarius couples from the 16th to the 22nd. Just one card, please. There it is. Thank you. And of course, there's two. Message in a bottle and um, milk and honey. Now, if you guys follow my channel, you know I focus on numbers quite a fair bit. And if you have a look, that's 15 and 51. So... Either 15 or 51 is quite prevalent for you. The numbers swapping around. Fives all represent change. Um, but more importantly, one in five makes six. And six is the message or the number of love. So and that could be exactly what this is all about, right? Trying to find that love again, that spark, or trying to find the balance within your existing connection. Now, 15, message in a bottle. Um, the key words are obviously communication, um, pointing the way to your highest good. You can expect someone to favor you with positive news. This could be in the form of a letter, phone call or email. You are in the intended receiver of this message. So stay open to what you learn. Only good will come of it in the end. All the signs are there. So for some of you, maybe you're getting a message from your partner's ex, or maybe you're getting a message from your ex. And maybe it's just giving you that closure that you need to be able to close the cycle and move on to something new because you know sometimes that's what we need just that push that we can close it and have closure all right 51 so bear with me for a second while i pull this up for you milk and honey this is actually a really really beautiful card okay so some of you may be watching going ali that's got nothing to do with me it could have to do with work and your partner's place in work so um milk and honey speaks about prosperity opportunities born of authenticity uh, nurturing abundance and it says sensuality connection and passionate romance between lovers sweet moments of understanding and love among friends and family are all here for you to savor now your heart's calling will be answered let your thoughts and feelings be sweet with gratitude and you'll be nourished with the honey of abundance 
Beautiful. So for some of you, I do feel like it could be about letting go of something so you can move forward and have a stronger connection. For others of you, you'll get a really important message about this connection. Um, and for some, it could just be that you're going through a real change when it comes to career and your boss or your partner's boss. Either way, I wish you a brilliant week. If you found this reading helpful, please hit the like button. It helps the channel more than you know, and I'll be back with you next week. Take care.